back to the problem issue child. So what I'm experiencing is a converter pullout, the issue. Uh, the converter's all the way in. I mean, I pulled it out, pushed it in a few times. More than necessary to confirm that it was all the way in. When I bolt the separator plate to the block, I use the flywheel. This is the new uh, TCI flywheel. Old flywheel that came off the block. Mind you, when I took the block apart, it had a 28 ounce harmonic balance on it. Well, I took that 28 ounce piece of shit off and put a 50 ounce harmonic balance, which is required for the 50, 50 ounce and balanced crankshaft. But I'm, after I bolt that flywheel up, I use the torque ring, torque these to 80 foot pounds, set the block in, and my backspacing is not there. I need an eighth to three sixteenths of pull out so the transmission or the torque converter pulls out to the flywheel when it's all bolted together. That way, I don't have, uh, I mean, as the engine's spinning, it pushes slightly onto the torque converter. Uh, I won't damage that front pump. The two plates, this plate has a low hump, this one has a higher hump, which is giving me that uh, offset of 1.92 millimeter once bolted to the engine. So I attempted to put washers here and that gave me uh, 964 clearance or a little more than eighth inch of pullout. Went on to Fuckbook and looked up some reviews, made a post. Then all the mechanics that know better than any other mechanics is take it to a mechanic. I'm not taking it to a mechanic. But what I've come up with, i seen another video, is taking the separator plate that goes on the block in between the bell housing. Uh, this is 1 16th. Make a template and cut it out. That way I can get more clearance. If I need to cut two of these out, I can. All right, so here are the uh, two metal shims I made that'll help space the transmission apart. About a 16th thick. Same as the other separator plate that's on there. So I did two of them. They should work just fine. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm just uh, RTV the new gasket or new sill in with some good old P. Diddy assembly goo on there. And uh, yeah, I gotta put that torque converter in. And hopefully it doesn't leak. So I forgot to record again. That's zero. And what I do is I add, I pull the flex plate up. It's all the way forward. Now when I check my clearance, I'm just measuring off with the bolt. Torque. The bell housing bolts, now 35 foot pounds. Hopefully that holds. Loctite and ARP glue. And you can see the plate there sandwich in between. So you have the spacer plate, separator plate, and then the two extra little pieces. And then on the inside, you can also see the two pieces there. And they stop right there where that bolt is. And the other side stops where that bolt is. So she's on the picker, ready to drop in.
So, it's in. All in. Well, I still need to put some transmission, uh, cross member bushing or whatever there. But pretty much it's in. Motor is in. So now, got to start buttoning stuff up. Next would be uh, electrical. And, uh, yeah, got to figure out what distributor I'm going to run. So I'm going EFI or carburetor. I'm going to get a new water, or put the water pump back on, new radiator, all the hoses, brake lines, fuel line, maybe a new fuel tank. And so I got to do the uh, brake calipers. Still have to build the splash guard. That goes in between the fender and the firewall, but that's what it's looking like. As for the back, I'm gonna have to take those spacers off there. Those guys right there, take those little spacers off because uh, it is. A little close. I'm gonna put the weight on it. It bottoms out. So the spaces are not the right move or a new tire. But I want to keep this nice. I like that big ass retarded looking tire on the back. She has the progress so far. For interior, I gotta get the right uh door gaskets uh weather stripping carpet figure out the dash figure out the gauge cluster headliner back window seats i put the trim on trim will probably be put on last but uh motor is in she is a little Squatty looking. It looks smaller, but she's gonna be loud. Yeah, so far that's the progress on the car. I'm gonna, I don't know. Gonna keep plugging away at it and go from there. 